Hey everybody, I'm home. What you going? I know I was gonna do this in the morning, but I'm like, what's the point? I'd rather just get her done with this. No, I've got the first thing to say is, hey, this is my Chicago haul. Now, last time I didn't do the clothes that I bought, which I really need to find them all and then show them off to the universe. Okay, at Ulta. I didn't get anything at Sephora, which is hard to believe, because they're having a sale right now, and there's a bunch of stuff that I want, and I also have that stuff, too. I was like, do I even want to go to Sephora? But then I saw it, and I'm like, but then somebody wouldn't let me go to Sephora. You know, I have, I'm just going to pull everything out of the bags and show them, but I'm not going to, like, list any prices, because a lot of YouTubers list, like, all the links. I can't. I don't have time to do that stuff. I'm sorry. Sorry, Paul. Uh, there is another couple things in Ulta somewhere I'm trying to find, but okay. The makeup items. I didn't get very many actually. For, I mean, that's at first, but. You know. Uh, I went into Ulta, but I, I could not find the color pops section. I was very close to asking where it was. It. I mean, they, I don't know. I mean, I think, I thought that, like, it was, like, my Ulta and Iowa, not Chicago, that's for sure. I'm going to take it out of the packaging. Sometimes I leave it in the packaging for some reason until, like, like either I, you know, bought it as to... I can, it's a backup and I haven't finished the old one yet, but, okay, this is the first thing I bought and it's, yeah, from Colourpop and it's a highlighter. I'm like, freaking obsessed with highlighter. I'm trying to mix my nose and chin, not chin, my cheeks. My cheeks are like, people say that everything sags when you get older. My cheeks are like. I can feel the bones right here, which means I need, I need, I feel like I want cheek implants or something, but I'm going to put two Michael Jackson with the nose job that I want. But this is the, um, Super Shot Cheek, and it's in lunch money. I did swatch it, oh my god. Colourpop stuff is awesome, seriously, they're the texture of everything. Compared to like, oh, oh my god, it feels like, like waiting across snow or something, or put it on. Now I do have highlighter on, but it's like, sweat it, I don't sweat it, how's the word, I'm just sweating off my face, because I was outside at an outlet mall after getting lost, and Oh, I forgot to bring in the item I bought. I actually bought something at Ralph Lauren. And it was on sale, and it was like less than 100 bucks. Ralph Lauren stuff is pretty expensive. It's like either Juicy Couture, which I love, or Kate Spade, which I love. Or anything foam related and makeup related. And here's the new Lisa box. Now, it took me a minute to find a highlighter that, I mean, sometimes, well, they had ones for people with, like, I have, like, fair skin, but, you know, I think it's some color today, plus, I mean, I have, um, tanning stuff, which I'm trying to get a tan before Florida, I just need to shave my legs a little bit, but, I think it looks low, packaging, see, I get lipstick in my hands, and then it ends up right here in my hair. Now with my hair is, I hate to close the salon, but my hair is like, this, the back is in a bun, no bun, and then this part, I cut off like the ends because it's very annoying. These are washed too. The next thing is an accessory, and it was only one dollar. This is from Forever 21, and I'm just gonna like, you know, have it open it a bit. I need to use a lash curler next time. I go out, which is Tuesday, and then Friday I'm getting my... I was supposed to get my hair done last Friday, and then 
before that and then you know they got it warmed up today because it was chilly yesterday in the city but I mean, sometimes it's warmer here than it is in Chicago it's two hours away you know I mean that's kind of ridiculous sorry that's my mother talking to my cat well, something's going on with my TV or my remote one of those I'm either gonna have to watch a movie or like, just like flipping my phone and the guy in the Verizon putting my phone case on, which took, I could have done that stuff myself. At Sephora, they have brow scissors, and I need to order some of those babies, but maybe, but I also do shave my brows, which I know I probably should, like, I'm gonna wax them occasionally, but I thought this thing was gonna hurt. I mean, it's like those ones are, that they use for cats. So they're claw, uh, claws for fur, which of course that makes me sneeze. Ta da! That's awesome. I think step up by the front of the register. That was in Sephora too. It's like in Ulta. It's like uh, Max. Uh, the only thing they have up front is like a back a bottle of Fix Plus. It's like this big and like it's ten bucks for the little bitty one. Yeah, so I have to check my, and you know, my email and stuff. Thank you, phone for working on the internet. Yeah, sorry. Ew, it is, y'all. The next thing, ew. The next thing is, well, actually, it's a purse, but it's the only problem is Forever 21. Not forever to cut the thing off that shoots ink at you if you don't and it went beep 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 but nobody ran after me I cops and the other part of the but it's it works for Florida it kind of reminds me of the second part of the Caribbean movie when they were in that like where they're like swinging will and play by line of bloom is like swinging grouse in that basket thing if anybody knows what I'm talking about mm -mm. Do like, do like, I can't remember what they said. Do you like swing it like a lady's skirt? That's what Gibb says. But, oh God, you do stupid things. I have a purse from Juicy that my mom ordered and they forgot to move that off there. So I can't wear that purse because it deep beeps like that when I go anywhere with those stupid things. I mean, I probably want to wear it, use that purse like it's security or somewhere. Everybody knows how security is. It's been a pain in the butt for you know, that's, um, they've had them, you know, back in the 90s, but then, of course, 9-11 happened, and a couple of other incidents, you know, like the shoe bomber guy and a couple of other crazy people tried to, and the London bombing thing happened, and, you know, people had to, you know, the bottle of water thing. <sighs> Thank God I got the TSA pre-check. <laughs> yes. Pretty awesome. The lipstick I have on, by the way, is the MAC Viva Glam in Seattle. By the way, the MAC store in Chicago has, I think, most of the colors. Is. The ones that the MAC I have here and down, good old, I don't want to down more, but just the, the Viva Glam, they don't have most of that stuff in it in the Viva Glam line anymore. I mean, not even online. I mean, they could, you know, give it to you for a free gift or something. Hint, hint, Matt. <laughs> Should take them in this video and see what... Tell them Twitter or something to check out um, what I said. Ooh, yeah. I don't know where the other thing was that I had. And I'm sure I'll find it in some, one of my bags, but I just got home and so I have a deck. I'm going to... It's not dark yet, I'm just gonna make, make a video to, I have to answer my fans here. Hmm. The thing is, you know, it was between this and all the other palettes, and now there's like, gosh, there's like a whole bunch of palettes I want, them. I want the Naked and Loaded, there's uh, one from, um,
I have one from, I can't remember what it's from or not. It's from, oh, there's a, the Morphe one. I saw that and I'm like, it's hard between those two and I don't want to go back to Ulta to, of course my mother was not happy that you know, I wanted to go to Ulta, but you know, Mac does the back to Mac program and you know, I had all the six items and, and so I got a new item. So that's what I'm missing. I knew that it's somewhere, but I bag. Yeah. I put on about a million coats of lipstick a day. The next thing is a palette, and it's by ColourPop. And like I said, it was hard to figure out. Because I saw the Morphe one, but I couldn't remember whose brand it was by. And I looked on Ulta. And of course, I looked on ColourPop, some website. I'm like, no, no, no. It's... I went to, over to Ulta's website, and I was like, what the this palette? And I sent them a message on Twitter, and I said, you know, of course they were like, send me the, your info. I'm like, I didn't buy the palette. I was wondering what brand it is, and it's Morphe. But this one I bought was, you know, I couldn't decide which one I wanted, though, no, but it's by ColourPop, and it's the Fame palette. So I don't have to take much when I travel when I go to Florida or in a couple of weeks. I will be doing the haul, and I don't know what I'm going to be buying in Florida besides, I just bought some Florida clothes, so I'll be showing that in a minute. This video is probably going to be like half an hour or an hour long, but these are the colors. Most of them are in the top, you know, only worn were a couple of colors so far in the palette, but, you know, I do the ones under the brows and the crease right here on my lids. I don't do anything underneath because it makes me... You know, get a bunch in the eye. I don't know why people wear black liner, seriously. That's what it reminds me of. It's kind of a, you know, plus the Amy Winehouse wing that she always did in her eyelids back in the day when she was alive. Next is a phone case. You know, I've been trying to get a phone case for my old phone, but they didn't have them for the six. So finally now I have a 10 so I can get a more phone cases and it was six ninety. And yeah, that's my favorite one. The one I have on, this one's like takes about an hour to get off, but looks like that. It, it's a very inspired, inspired by Lindsey Sterling's video for um, what's that song called? Um, what's that song called? Well, she's staying in an a place in, in Alaska, in an Alaskan. Glacier thing. Yeah. Oh, two is one. Okay, yeah, because I knew that ring's on. I have to look at it. I need to do it. I think it lays on. I can think of it for a minute there, and I can't. It's on her, it's on her Christmas album. And let's see. Shoot, I can't remember. Oh, I wonder as I went. Wonder as I went. Wonder. Sorry, that sounds really weird. I said. If anybody has a scene, like I said, it's set in an Alaskan, uh, not igloo, Alaskan um, glacier. That's the word. Glaciers always think of Titanic, that's what it reminds me of too much. And, you know, of course, when I was going to get the phone case for this phone, I saw one that was blingy, which reminds me of that video too, because she's the outfit that she's wearing is beautiful. And the, everything on the, especially on my new phone, it's, it's just beautiful. Everybody should go watch it. You know, I'm trying to say, I'm just. I go back and forth between bags, or you know, I'm gonna do Forever 21 first because H&M has like I was inspired by, like I said, Lindsay Sterling in that video. But actually, it was not a video; it's her first album cover. I don't know if anybody can see the picture. And just, uh, let me bring it up and you know, for her first album cover, which came out in 2012. Yep, 2012. I did say everything on this phone is more a thousand times more awesome than everything else. Okay. Let's 
kind of small actually, but it looks like this. I got something stuff that was very similar to it, even those tights, which I don't wear fish nets ever because I don't want to sound like like a doesn't look like I'm sitting on a street corner in Vegas. No, but my god, the stuff I got at H and M was very similar. I saw that on the app and I had it on my old phone. And then I took a picture of it for my new one and now it's not working. It only brings it up to the sunglasses. I think I bought it and I gave it. Those are from the wrong store. And there's... This is from Forever 21. I don't know if I'm leaving right now, but it's... You know, the tag for my new belt. Which should, actually, the other belt that I have, I have one that's a thin belt, and it's... Actually, this one looks more like the album cover for that one. But it's actually my mom's favorite color. Well, it used to be. It's a thick belt. So she wears in the video, but that one's kind of. And the album cover, I mean, not. This one's, you know, for, this is, a, like I said, Forever 21 stuff. But, like on my Epcot ear, there's, there's a tag on there. So I guess we're gonna cut it off tomorrow. Only. No, I'm not gonna wash. My mom wants to do laundry, and I. It's like five o'clock, and I. We just got home, and I'm like, we can do it, but I'm not. I'm gonna wash everything myself. Okay, the next thing is kind of similar to that other bag, but it looks like this now. My niece was on the beach with my brother-in-law and the other. My older niece just graduating high school in a couple of weeks. And my nephew and my brother-in-law, and they were running on the beach, and all of a sudden he did something, and phone landed in the ocean. So she went probably a couple of weeks without a phone, which, seriously, that's happened to me with iPods, and I should do, like, the first iPod, actually it wasn't an iPod, it was a shuffle, like, this size with, like, 12 songs on it or something, it was in 2007, I think. Actually, I, I listen to CDs then, cause I didn't, just because the things were working, but my bag looks like this, and it's very, well, I saw that one, and then I was like, I saw this one, I'm like, see, it's another bag I can put, as long as I don't drop my phone in the water, which was not her fault, it was his fault, but I think he, ridiculous brother-in-law, thinks that it was her fault, I'm like, no, you bumped into our goofball. I didn't say that, but uh, he'd probably get mad if I said that to him. Well, if she says anything to me about that, I'm going to say, like, it wasn't your fault. No. Yeah, and if she says that was my dad's fault, I'm like, yeah, Mary. Yeah. Hey, about it, look at this dress. Isn't it pretty? I had to get up a size. This actually isn't from the plus size department, which I don't really, I don't wear anything plus size very much. But my old dress was, I mean, it's, last year when I was in Texas, somebody put it in the wash, and it's not supposed to go in the wash, so when that happened, I mean, I made it tighter. I kept, I kept a few of the tags here. The next one is not clothes, makeup, or accessories. It has a bag, and it's, I have this picture on my wall, and actually, I have a shirt with it on it, too. And it looks like this. It's the guest friends. <laughs> I don't have a bunch of other stuff with this. Same picture. This looks a lot more vibrant than the picture or the t-shirt. But, you know, see, it's all the gangs. Of course, there's obviously drinking milkshakes. <laughs> I saw it, and I'm like, so there's $9.90. And I put, like, all the, my accessories that I bought in there. <laughs> At least the, the people in the store... I'm like, there's stuff in the bag. I mean, it's a lot better for the environment than a plastic bag, that's for sure. Plastic bags make me feel very uneasy, obviously, because of the landfills and stuff. Next thing I bought was a very bright fuchsia headband thing. Might work to cover up my roots. I very much my roots a lot, just the way that feels 20 months long almost. But I was wearing my Lindsay Sterling hair and I mean, it looked like I'm, you know, I don't know, I look like I'm either skateboarding or, 
I don't know. Can I, like, I don't know, that's kind of silly, but I don't know. I think I don't want to face down this side of me. Okay, the cutest thing I bought was besides a scarf. I got some with these socks. I'm always, of course, I've been at, I was just at Disney for my birthday, and that's all they use. And of course, I threw them on because they're dull. Yep, big. Well, I don't really like wearing socks very much, except Wonder Woman, Harry Potter. You know, sometimes I'm watching one of those, and then I will put on the socks, but then I take them off when I. Not throw anywhere because I don't like socks. I don't like the way I like shoes either. All right, I will hopefully hope to be ordering some stuff from um, ColourPop and Sephora and all that exciting stuff. Oh, like a charger. And I just found something else in my that I bought too. Okay, the next thing is a pair of scissors. I got these for my very annoying cuticles. That's why I have band aids on them. Which look, oh, I can turn the little strand things off, it's kind of like my hair, just on the side, I don't know, I know, I know. My, my hair dressers are my original one, I went back to another person recently, and the old one's like, you cut your hair, I'm like, it's annoying. Hey, the geeks. Oh my god, no, it's not possible. What? I want her to be in a video, but somebody is a sweet kitty. No, I would not carry these on security because, you know, I remember my first plane trip after September 11th was Florida, I think, for my graduation back in 2002, I think, and, you know, they didn't allow scissors, obviously, because they, I mean, they, they allowed all the bad stuff that those awful people carried with them that April morning. Now they, I mean, I do think they'd let you carry them, but I'm, I mean, they, they also didn't like, take nail clippers, but now they do, thankfully. Yeah, that is good stuff. I'm sorry, but, um, my, Forever 21 is actually not kind of like teenage stuff, but I also have silverware in my bag and a bunch of tags, which is kind of fine. Actually, next thing about was, that's where it went. There's another, I, this is, part of the back to Mac program I got you get the, a free eyeshadow or lipstick or lip gloss I should have gotten lip gloss that stuff is very thick so I got so I got an eyeshadow and of course it's free but my mom didn't know that it was it's an eyeshadow by Mac and it's a new color they didn't have my color and I wanted and it's called um, gold bit I've seen this one uh, one online before and I want to like, I have, when I was in the store trying to, well, the first one I wanted was um, all the glitters. They didn't have it. And I'm like, I have that color, that color, that color, and a palette. Those six eyeshadow ones, they're like 20 bucks, and then insert is like 10 bucks or something like that. The 10 and 10, I don't know what it costs these days. I do want to get one of the, another one of the, What's it called? A bunch of different colors in another one. I have one of somewhere. I wish they sold it in that. Little round ones. I have one of those somewhere too, which I took out of a Z palette because I didn't want to look that like round. That's a fringe here. There's a little round metal thing in there. Like, I also went through, a, just recently, th last night, I threw away my, I don't, I have to open up the new brow thing. I used, I twisted it up and it was empty. So I had to dispose of it this morning, but this is, I got this, I got two of them last time. I mean, it's like five bucks. I didn't buy this. I bought this months ago, but this is the Color Pop Pro Boss. 
and blonde. Just can't tell my hair is blonde mostly, but my eyebrows are not. I have to put them in a lot there. That's better. That's better. I have a wish list. I wish they make you let you build another wish list. But this is what the eyeshadow looks like. It's kind of fun when you see a bunch of eyeshadows of your own and another palette. And those mini ones are like six bucks now with ColourPop and Makeup Geek. Do the same thing pretty much. I drop the eyeshadows down a little bit. But it looks like that. I wear those colors like the whole time. Yeah, I went highlighter as I showed it before, so it looks pretty. Yeah, because I have this one, which is almost out of the house. And cheap date by Colorba. <laughs> and I need to get to the runner. And you put the eyeshadow in there, and then I it in there, and the packaging here. That's not brother in law, I think, like that. That's New York. New York. I was just from New York. New York, I don't know. I don't know that much about him. <sighs> but anyway, the next thing is clothes. I got the H&M clothes at the bottom. I got this shirt too. I mean, you don't usually wear white because I spill, spill, spill it on myself all the time. I'm either a southern accent or a British accent. I get the British one from watching Harry Potter all the time. And plug that and yeah, it's a nice winner. And I got it with these pants with pants that are white and they have foam brown things. You guys know what they're foam. I got this dress. It's very flirty, of course. I'm so tired of winter clothes, seriously. So I'm gonna like move to Florida someday. I'm tired. I'm not that warm. I'm gonna make silverware on my bed. I don't know. Like what? What? Where do I know? If I, this is what? I know you could like carry silverware on, but they won't carry that on airplanes if you're just turning around by there, of course. Which, I mean, I think, looking back on it now, date knife, not that sharp to hurt anybody, but it makes you think of 9-11, and by 93, I know the Jeremy Glick, I think, mentioned something to his wife, and just said something like, and then, actually, it was Lisa Beamer, wife of Todd Beamer, but Jeremy Glick said something like, use my butter knife for breakfast, and then right after that happened, they stopped letting you, giving you food and silverware. I understand the silverware, but the food, I mean, what if you're going to Europe or someplace? They could. This is similar to the last thing I showed you, everybody. This is sort of like a bathing suit cover up. And I try it, looks like yeah. It's like in a Florida thing. For, I've only been in Florida. Unless it's July, because it's freaking hot outside. I live in the south. I lived in Texas last summer. Okay, it was like 100 degrees. So probably October, right before Hall between Halloween and here, it's just cold, like right around Halloween. Most of the time, unless it's a new racer or something. The next outfit, actually, I hardly ever spend any time in the plus size department because I'm not really plus size. I probably need to wear Samson under this dress, you know, but. Yeah, flowers. And it's black too. Oh god, I forgot to remove this one too. Seriously. I don't see any in the store. Might as well. Yeah. Times that thing goes off and in a day in those stores. Ugh. Now there are two Forever 21 ones. There's one in Water Tower Place, and there's one next door hotel, actually. The other side of our hotel, actually a few doors from that, is Mac, and a few doors from that is Ulta. 
they put the Ulta in in about 2000, like mid 2016 or something like that, because it was a new one that we went through that time. It's kind of pricey. This one is like, I have one like this actually. I'm channeling my inner scary spice, y'all, you know, this. If anybody, of course, everybody remembers Melody's style and every, yeah. That sounds gross. It sounds kind of like, uh, let me check that like that funny accent. It's not my friends, Mississippi. And their family, they're all from the same age all. Here's my friend. Here's my friend, sir, by the way. See? There's a gang. I was going to wear this home, but I ended up, you know, you buy clothes and you want to wear it. Now, the next thing I said, like I said, is my Lindsay's drawing inspired. Because so, first I got the bag that goes to that dress. I'm not, it's identical. I'm sorry about that. I just think the cables are annoying. Okay, this is actually is from Topshop and it was on sale. Topshop rarely has anything that I like except for this one scarf that I got years ago and I love it. But I want a summery scarf, not a wintry scarf. But of course, my cousin uh, who was shopping was who was a guy. One of my cousins. Other than this, this is not. Actually, this one, I know I saw one this morning at brunch. I mean, he got up at like six, seven o'clock in the morning on Sunday to go to Brock. He works at the Apple store. Which, by the way, the one on Michigan Avenue is gone now. They moved it to Berlin, which is really, I that's why I'm going to Apple and spending hours in there. But by the way, if you've ever been to Chicago with the Apple store, those scare, stairs are pretty scary. And that's the picture. There's so much more vibrant on the shirt. I don't know what happened there. So I got this. Okay, the bag was from forever, and this one is from. Yeah, it's from H yeah, it's from H &M. Well, they have H and M, and not far from here in Davenport, Iowa, which, by the way, is going through a lot of flooding right now. And I'm very worried about people who live by the river. I mean, yeah, don't live by the river. I have to take the paper out. I mean, there's not much I can put in here, but that's my cruise purse. You know, I have, let's see, I can put my phone in here. I can put lipstick in here. My cruise stuff. My cruise ID. It's like, kind of like, you know, a lanyard, you know, you want to put in there. So I lose everything in the green universe. But yeah, I gotta tap shit. <clears throat> I said I didn't really buy much of the top shot. I kind of forgot that was not the Okay, the first thing was the skirt that... When I went in the store, I was thinking of that outfit, and then all of a sudden I, I see all these pieces, and I'm like, oh my god, it's, everything's right on the open. So I like ran over it. I grabbed about 12 items, and I remember when to get home, and I'm like, I don't I might want to get, have a new look once in a while, because... I would have seen points every day, I think. And these clothes are kind of more work, like, not working out, like going to work on that. It kind of reminds me of Amy Adams and Batman vs. Superman and uh, Man of Steel. I mean, she's Lois Lane, you know, Superman's girlfriend, but with this skirt. You know, I wanted these skirts, but I really wore skirts because. Cover up the top of my thighs, but not the bottom of my thighs. I got all this, the stuff that I wanted. Usually, I can't. I mean, I almost didn't get this shirt because my mom. But they didn't have this. You know, I'm like a 14, I think. Maybe they need some small bears, but this is the back of the shirt. Because mostly it's white, and I get lipstick and. God knows I want food on myself all the time, so I need a Disney poncho on myself when I'm eating, like, Thai food and stuff. I can't really have all this stuff, I mean, like I said, I made a, a wish list on my old phone for H&M, then I logged in, and after trying to remember what password was for my new phone, and then I take, had to take a picture of it. Again, for my phone, and it didn't work. 
like I said, I brought up, like I said, already brought up sunglasses, but not. So I mean, I got sunglasses, so I'm not gonna get the. So my mom might want to get the pink thing, the pink or pink, rose-colored glasses when I'm using it with this on. Have to be yeah, because the bronze is very semi, very thin material. Which need of course. Especially in the sun, so I don't, I don't really wear most sleeveless clothes because my arms are very thick and stuff. Pretty thick everywhere. So. And then you got this shirt, which actually was my size this time. It was kind of like a Kind of like Superman or Spider-Man and that black stuff on there. Nobody ever noticed Henry Gamble's body in that movie. Uh, it has, I think he ate like 2,000 calories a day, which is a lot of food. <laughs> and worked out like crazy. I mean, I'm sure after filming, I think it was in another movie where it looked like that too. I don't know if I ever see the scene. Either Man vs. Steel, Batman vs. Superman, or Justice League, which, at the end of Batman vs. Superman, he dies, and then uh, the other two, Cyborg and, what's the other one, played by Ezra Miller, he brought, they bring him back to life, I think we have a scene, The Flash, that's his name, all I think about is Wonder Woman and, and, Bam, and Ben Affleck, next time I bought was this dress. I try to wear dresses, but, you know, just, see, in Texas, I barely had any time to relax, you know, I was always running to class or working out, or, there's only one, I think one semester I didn't work out, and I actually had, like, two hours to relax, and then have lunch, and then occasionally something else, but by the four o'clock, you know, I had, like, half an hour of dinner and then, you know, be able to make nearly dead phone at that time, you know, argue with the people in my house and send in a bunch of annoying emails to the guy who runs the village, that's what it's called where I was living. I can't believe my mom would get all those clothes. It, I, I really desperately want those palettes. I just, it took forever for h and like I said, to reply to my pleas for help trying to find that palette's name. I mean, I didn't know what brand it was. At first I thought it was, like I said, at first I thought it was ColourPop and then it became, and then they finally replied like, Hours later, apparently, that's what it felt like. I mean, I think they think that I bought it or something because they were like, please send us a DM with your order number. I'm like, I didn't buy it. I just want to know. And then there's like, here's a link. I'm like, I looked there. And finally, some nice, awesome person from Ulta Beauty said that they found, they found it. Now, it looks like this. I mean, the colors I have in this new palette are, this one's probably the easier to carry around with me. It's by Morphe. I'm trying to figure out how to pronounce that correctly. Some people say it's Morph. I mean, I do have Power Rangers. But then I got this one. I'm only 20 bucks, so that's, I'm probably a little more at 30. But, found on eBay and it was only 12 bucks. They have it in the store. And I feel stupid that I didn't buy the dang thing because you know. Anywho, that sounds weird when I say pretty much what I said. Like I said, I did not get anything at Sephora. I mean that's the first time I've been in not been into Sephora since 
I mean, I didn't buy much at all in Texas last year, except for I had to buy winter clothes of all things. I didn't think it was going to be that cold in Texas, but it was like, you know, when, that's when my nieces were in Florida, like, right? it's so cold here. Which I don't say anything, but I'm like, tend to just say, well, just, that's just, I don't know. I get somebody to convince someone to take me to, this is, actually, that's what you, when we went to, the Walmart one night, or I was like, I had to buy like a coat of all places at one of the malls. Which I, mean, I should have bought that one when I moved in. I brought one from home. I don't want to go there in my coat, big huge coat. I look like a rapper or something. And I had to buy mittens of all things. You know, I was telling people, I'm like, I'm from cold weather. I know what it's like. Okay, sorry, I put concealer on. It's nice when you look at yourself in the mirror in the morning and you got like one color mascara on and then and for me I just like slather on and put on like six coats and then by the time I go to bed I, I'm like my mom's like you need to wash your mascara off it's all, it's all over the place and then I look at I'm like well it's not I think it's the lighting or something you know when I was in the city we had delicious light like all day long I mean unlike here where it's I get, I think I get the morning sun and then it goes to that side of the house to, and by like two o'clock or something, that's 5.30 in last year. And, and I'm gonna be going to bed in like five hours from now. And right now I'm just kinda like, I just got home and you know, I spent, most today, I spent a little bit of today at, um, well, we got back to from brunch. We actually decided to come home early, which is a good idea because I think we were going to go to the Bean, which I, I don't know if anybody knows where the Bean is in Chicago. It's over by Grant Park, which is kind of close to the, where the Navy Pier and the, that huge Ferris wheel. And then the Field Museum and the Shed, Shed Aquarium and the, Elder Planetarium and the, uh, what's the other one? Something over there. Oh, the Art Institute, which is across the street, I think. And the, on this side over there, it's on the lake, and then you go over here, and that's where Buckingham Fountain are, and then Bass, a little bit that way, direction, I think, is. I think that's where, I think that's where Shania Twain performed in Chicago at Grand Park in like 2004 when her career was huge before, you know, the bad stuff happened in 2008 when she lost her voice and her husband and, jeez, a bunch of crazy stuff happened. But she performed, I have that on DVD and it's like, I see, I mean, I, I've never been to the Bean, but. Where's the bean again? Seems to happen a lot now, like I said. I, it's really dark in here now. Because I'm sitting here trying to charge my phone on the charger, but it's not. My new phone's battery last. I had to get a new battery for my old phone last year. Of course, and, you know, I was like, I don't have a phone. I had an iPad, but it's kind of heavy to carry around with me bag all the time. But anyway, that's what I bought. <sighs> Is there anything else? Oops, I think I forgot to put back in my bag. Oh. I forgot to mention something. Oops. I knew that would happen. That happened. And my other Chicago haul I did like three years ago. I got another pair of flip flops for pedicures at the beach in Florida. I might tell Elsa, except for a couple, I'm not that bad. I just, she gets the pop. She just do it myself. And I just scrape the stuff at the bottom of my feet and I can turn my toenails myself. Just, you know, just paint a coat of two of polish or that and I'm great. What the heck? 
This video is 45 minutes long, but anyway, I got these shoes and I can wear that with my scary spider jumpsuit thing. I have a blue one somewhere. Oh, I that used to be actually my plain outfit for a couple of years, but now I I really like showing off my shoulders. And so if I had a closer lived closer to not that I would go to a gym, but I try not to look like Superman, but I'm trying to like get my shoulders either thinner or I get down again. My arm's gonna hurt from carrying around some luggage and stuff. I had like my my carry on here and then I have two big bags of heavy clothes and other stuff. Thankfully I found all that stuff that was missing like for my my makeup. Like I said, I only bought a few pieces, which is a rarity for me, like I said, because I really, I buy like hundreds of dollars of makeup in Sephora. But they're having a sale on my specials, I'm going there. It's like, well, what if you were mine? I'm like, I like buying in the store. You know, you can get your stuff online. She bought a bunch of stuff too. She got mascara and skincare and a bunch of other stuff. Like, this is huge. Plus, I got a new phone. And I made a note saying, like, stuff I want from each store. And I had, like, actually two of us in that. One of them went missing. There's a bunch of stuff that was on that list. Like, you know, stuff I want. Plus, then Sephora, of course, has its wish list. And I keep adding to it. And I did actually delete a couple things today. This thing shows how big my forehead is. Like I said, I don't show my face in pictures. I have my good side, which is this one. So my nose is like, I want thinner. I had to get my nose plastic, not really plastic, it's kind of just plastic surgery, but I got my nose and just their scissor done where I can breathe better. Because if Love the allergies to my cat and other stuff, probably. The heck? My charger's not plugged in. And my lighting looks really sticky. It's like Joe's a lot. Oh, there I am. Hey, let's see. It's nice when your charger's not. I mean, my phone is like 90% or something, but I don't know. How it's claiming that it's not charging. What the heck? I bet I have a problem with this one here. This is by Mophie. I actually had a couple of those for old phones, but I don't know if they, they're like 60 bucks or something. What the heck does it? Uh, anyway. Now this picture, this picture, the one on the left with, the one on the right is the one I took at the concert. The other one is, they had a cardboard, not, not right, it was a poster, it wasn't a cardboard cow. Should have taken that though. Of Lindsay Sterling when I went to see her. The other picture, that one on the left, like I said, is from, I don't know, I don't know who took it, but, oh my god. And then you get to this one, this beautiful dress, and this is a friend group and everybody. But, um, she wore it in some video, I think. But the glare on it, it's a butterfly dress. She wore, I know, wait, she wore it on Dancing with the Stars. That's what it was. And it's, I need to eat. I don't know, it's real, I don't smell it. I mean, most holes I don't think are actually ever this long. In general, usually 10 to 15 minutes, like, most videos are on YouTube, except for a select few of them. <laughs> like, well, old songs I don't. You know, it's like Old Navy and the girls last. I guess the last my last talk from the Windy City was I forgot the clothes in the video. That's why I need to. Like I keep saying I need to put the clothes in another video and just be like. Chicago Hall, 
clothing from 2016 I forgot to include it in my last video. It was like two and a half years ago. I'm trying to remember everything that I got last time in Florida because it's been a while. And like I said, I don't know what I'm, I'm going to be in Florida in a couple of weeks. So I don't know what I'm going to buy besides you know, Starbucks ice cream fudge and I don't know what else. I just uh, if we do go shopping and be like Florida related things. I wanted to get that in Chicago, but apparently our hotel got rid of the gift shop, so now it's like meeting room elevators instead of the gift shop, which kind of stinks. But I like my gift shops. Because sometimes they have fun souvenirs. I know nothing. And I've got, like I said, I've got the thing sunglasses. They're in the car, they're black. So I do have glasses like that in the picture, actually. Just somewhere. Hang on. Do you let me on? So you let you do the around and see. Let's see what she's wearing. My outfit looks. Oh, I forgot the fishnets in the video where they go. And I could do this violin in the clip. I have glasses like that actually. But mine have like, um, I don't know mine how long they are. It's like a bow or, yeah, it's bow, black bows. I don't think hers are. For a second, I thought they were, the ones you wear for black and they were like normal to pair of sunglasses. <laughs> They're like sitting in the room for me, my cleaning lady came in to check on my cat and clean our house. And... Oh, yeah, she has her two's here, so I'm not here, which is, I haven't been a few times, but, because uh, last time she was here, I wasn't here, she, I'm like I said, don't touch my stuff, and she touched my stuff, I'm like, please, I was like, please put it back where it was. I had to put my skirt, I need to hang that up. <sighs> Figure what's going on on the TV. Well, I'm hoping that nothing in the, behind my TV got unplugged or something, because that would be annoying. You know, the last they put on all day, I mean, even on the cruise, they put on mascara like it, like right around dinner time, because we're walking out in the sun and I feel like my mascara is either burning off because of the heat down in the caravan, or I was crying or something, and it's like, hey, I need another coat of mascara. I mean, flip my lashes up. It's like that lash curl, I feel like they're drooping like everything else lately in my body. I feel like, I feel like that with my cheeks. My cheeks are like, you can feel the bone right here. I need to amp my cheeks up without looking like a clown or Michael Jackson. Like I said, same with my nose, too. Because they collected like all the tags, but now I forgot that I can't wear the. One item left, that stupid thing on there now. Dang it. I should have looked at everything. I mean, I sort of didn't do that in a brown this bag. I also didn't do that with the other item. But I wish it was the friend's bag that said I thought that would be very interesting. Yeah. Got the friend's bag with the friend's shirt, and you got the friend's picture, which is over there in like this size. Oh, my friends are pictures. I got ink. I don't want to wear some ink the other day. Why is this not here yet? Well, my best buy in Moline, Illinois clothes, so now I have to go to one in Iowa, so where we, I used to get ink for old printers I don't have anymore. I gave them to my neighbor over there. Those kids live in Indiana, the crazy mother. I almost ended up in Indiana or Wisconsin in the last couple of days. My mom and I both get lost all the time. Well, there wasn't a sign to tell us to stay on the road and not turn to O'Hare, Wisconsin, Indiana. Oh, no, those were else. Today we couldn't have ended up in, it was yesterday, today we could have ended up in like Gary, Indiana, or, yeah, I said Wisconsin, we keep, we keep going straight. I was like, we could have ended up in Gary, Indiana, you know, Michael Jackson was, was there for, 
an adult if you finally move away from his father. And you know, Joe, I know Joe just passed away last year or whatever it was. But okay, I just want to say one thing. He was a mean guy, okay. I mean, he, I, he, I think he pushed those kids way too hard, especially Michael, because he was the baby until Janet and the, and the toy I went around. Oh my god, I just want another object for the video. Oops. This is the last thing, I hope. This is the ColourPop eyeshadow that I bought, and it's called Ladybird. This is a new color. It kind of looks like, um, 